Today we're going to be trying out the new G Fuel flavor, Mega Potion. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, today we're doing another G Fuel review. It is Mega Potion, the brand new flavor from G Fuel, inspired by Monster Hunter's Rise. So this was a pre-order. Uh, I just got it today. If we look at the details here, it says this flavor is a mango and jackfruit infusion. So a fruity flavor. We'll see how good this one is. Head over to G Fuel right now. You can order this still. Um, so this just came in the tub. There was no collector's box for this one here, the Mega Potion. All right, as you can see on the tub here, we have some characters from the game, some of the creatures there, 15 calories. There is a look at that. Let's go ahead and break into this Mega Potion. As you can see in there, it looks like a white powder. Almost, it's hard to tell if it's just the lights. It almost looks like there is a, a hint of a pink or a peach color, but I think it might just be the lights in here. It is definitely a, <laughs> it's definitely a small, strong citrus. I smell the mango in there. I've never had jackfruit, so I couldn't really tell you what the taste of, say, jackfruit is. Let's get our bubble gum shaker over here. Throw in a scoop of G Fuel. And it looks like it's going to make a yellow color for us. All right, so we got it all shook up. There is a look at that. Yes, definitely a yellowish, almost looks like like grapefruit juice or something. All right, Mega Potion. Definitely some mango flavor in there. And again, like I said, I've never had jackfruit. If you've had jackfruit and you know what that flavor is, throw it down in the comments below. Let everyone know what is the taste of jackfruit. I'm trying to think what this reminds me of. I had this type of flavor before in something. It's just not hitting me right now exactly what this is. Hmm. It's not bad. Okay, so I decided to look it up to see what, for jackfruit, it says, some say it's sweet and some say jackfruit is a flavor similar to pulled pork, especially when cooked. What the? All right, so I'm gonna look up and down the side. It says ripe jackfruit is surprisingly sweet flavor, like a combination of mango, pineapple, banana. In other words, exactly like juice, juicy fruit gum. Is that the t Maybe that's what I'm kind of getting. Kinda. I guess I kinda am getting a little juicy fruit gum. Maybe that's the flavor. Juicy fruit flavor with a little more mango taste to it. I guess if you cook it, then people are saying it tastes like meat, but okay. So just on its own, it's like a mixture of pineapple, mango, and banana, I guess. I am getting that. 
now that they I read that, that's what I'm getting is a mixture of juicy fruit gum. So if you like juicy fruit gum, but little more on the mango side, that's exactly what this tastes like. Not bad, not bad at all. Like I said, if you're a fan of those flavors, if you like that gum, I think you'll like this. The Mega Potion G Fuel flavor, inspired by Monster Hunter's Rise. A decent flavor. I'd give it a, maybe a seven out of 10 if I had to rank this one. It's good. It's a decent flavor. Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried it? What do you think of it? Are you getting the juicy fruit gum taste like I am? It's it's not 100% like that, like sort of the aftertaste. Like I was saying, when I first tasted, I'm like, this is familiar. I could not pinpoint what it was. But yeah, because it has a little more mango flavor than juicy fruit gum. But one more sip of it. That's a decent one. Decent one. Definitely in, definitely a decent G Fuel flavor. All right, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, so if this video is a little short and kind of all over the place, because I'm having technical difficulties with my switcher here, I don't even know how the audio is going to come out on it because it's showing my audio not recording. So I don't know if I'm going to have to use camera audio or if my my microphone will actually get picked up. I'm not able to switch between cameras. I'm not, I mean, I'm going to do it in the edit, but something's not going on with this. So it's kind of thrown off the whole video. So I apologize about that.